Working with captions in non-native languages has always been a tricky task for editors. It used to require hiring companies to manually translate subtitle files, and this can be not only costly, but it can take days if not weeks. And if you want to translate from one language into another language, that's a whole other hurdle. Well, today I'm going to show how you can skip all the fuss and create animated captions in virtually any language automatically. Brevity can create captions in over 100 different languages, and you can even use it to translate from one language into another language. It does all the work for you and still maintains almost perfect accuracy. It even works when there's multiple languages spoken in the same clip. So let's jump in and see how you can create captions in virtually any language using brevity. All right, so I'm inside of Premiere Pro here and I have a sequence open where the character is speaking Spanish and I also have the brevity tool open on the top left. When we open up brevity, we're presented with two different options. The first being auto cut, which will allow you to take your long form content and automatically generate social ready sequences. We have a full tutorial on that linked in the description. And then below that, we have the caption button. So first things first, let's go ahead and make sure that we have our in and out point set for the sequence. I've already gone ahead and done that. And then we can click on captions. At the top of this new window, we can see how many credits our account has and also how many credits will be used to create captions for this sequence. Below that, we are able to choose a caption preset style. So we have some save ones that you can go ahead and just save your own and also a bunch of different trending ones where you can get some quick previews just by hovering over them. But we have a full tutorial that goes through all the different styling options and how you can create your own presets. So be sure to check that out as well. Maybe let's go with this BG follow one. So now below that, we have the transcription menu. Inside of here is where we can really dial in all the different transcription settings for dealing with multiple languages. At the top, we have two different models to choose from, fast and accurate. When you're dealing with some uncommon languages or languages with heavy dialect or accents, you may want to choose the accurate model just because it will do a better job of picking up those languages. Usually the tool does a really good job with automatically detecting what language is being spoken, but if it's struggling, feel free to de toggle this and we can go ahead and manually set whatever language the video that we're captioning is in. Above that, we also have the ability to select multiple different languages. So if there's multiple languages inside of your clip, you can go ahead and toggle this on and then you can select multiple different languages that exist inside of your clip. I'll leave this as untoggled. I'll toggle on the auto detect language because Spanish is a very common language. And then below that, we have the option to translate the language. So I'm actually going to detoggle this for now and we're just going to generate captions in Spanish. Once we have that all set up, let's go ahead and click on create. All right, so brevity has gone through, it's rendered out the audio from our sequence and it's automatically transcribed it. And as you can see, it's generated this new caption layer here and loaded up the captions inside of our panel. So from here, we can do super fun things like changing the formatting of the captions by playing around with the characters and the amount of lines. We can format the captions for legibility. We can go ahead and click on this highlight tool if we want to highlight specific words inside of our captions. And also if we want to change the style preset, there's a bunch of different presets inside of here that we can choose from. So maybe I want to do this BG zoom. It's going to load up the caption preset inside of our sequence here. And if we give this a quick preview, so we already have animated captions inside of our sequence and that took what less than a minute to do. So super quick. And if we want to go ahead and dial in some of these different styling options as well, we have that full video that you should check out that goes through all of these different styling parameters. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to retranscribe this clip. So if we go and click on this menu icon here, we can go ahead and click on retranscribe. And this time I'm going to actually translate it to English. So I'll click on this translate to language and then we can set the language that we want to translate it to. We have all of these different languages that you have the availability to translate to, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as English. Let's just go ahead and create the captions again. All right, awesome. So brevity has gone through, it's generated this new caption layer again, but this time it's gone ahead and it's translated from Spanish into English. Super easy. Let's go ahead and try this out on another clip. This time we're going to do a clip that's in French. So we can go ahead and click on captions again. We're going to change up the preset here. Maybe we'll do the slide up one. And then let's go ahead and click on the transcription settings. This time I'm going to leave as accurate. And instead of auto detecting the language, I'm going to go ahead and manually choose French inside of here. Go ahead and find French. And let's actually not translate to a language this time. Just go ahead and detoggle that. And then go ahead and click on create. 
just got that transcription back and as you can see it's all in French here we can go ahead and take a look at some of these captions uh, again super easy to reformat these if we want like a smaller number of lines or shorter lines here as well you can also format the captions for legibility add some highlights to some of the words here maybe and then let's go ahead and just give us a quick preview so French is very fast, it seems like, uh, but maybe we don't want to have this caption preset. Maybe we want something that's a little bit easier to read. So I'll go ahead and let's just do this very basic one. Uh, this one's not going to have any of the animation properties enabled, and it's just going to be a lot easier to read. Awesome. All right, sweet. So let's pop over to our last sequence here. This one's going to be in Arabic. And we can go ahead and just click on the captions button again. Maybe this time I want to leave it as the auto detect. We're going to leave it as untranslated. And so we can go ahead and just click on create. We've got our Arabic language. This happened all within like 30 seconds. And as you can see, if we just play through some of the sequence here. We have the accurate transcription ready to go. And of course we can style this however we want. Maybe we want this to be centered in the screen, scale it up a little bit, maybe change the font from Arial. Maybe we want something like Adobe Clean if it supports that, looks like it does. Uh, there we go. As you can see, Brevity makes it super easy to create captions in virtually any different language, and you can even translate from one language into another language. We currently support over 100 different languages, and if you're looking for a language that isn't currently supported, just let us know and we'll be sure to implement it. I've also teased a lot of other cool Brevity features that I didn't cover in this video, such as the auto cut tool, styling the animated captions, and then also the media tool. There's a lot more features to discover, so if you're interested, definitely check the description down below for links on how to use all of those different tools. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.